Hey, here goes take three of this video. I'm not going to get into the previous takes, but this one will have sound. The uh, Today we're going to look at the process of loading an unloadable map. We're going to work on a... Uh, well, this time I, I did everything... I did a dry run of everything this time, so I know exactly how, the, how this is going to go. And, and know how long this is going to take, so a little bit of the excitement of opening a, a virgin map is gone, but on the other hand, it'll uh, be uh, a little bit quicker and a little bit more focused on... But again, we're, we're going to go a, uh, do the whole process here. The map we're going to be looking at is just long-range battle cruiser from... November 7th, uh, 2013, so nice old map, uh, well, maybe not nice, but it's old. Interestingly uh, enough, this pretty popular map, uh, 3,500 subscribers, even though it's <coughs> not quite loadable, and uh, 56 current faves, so yeah, it's worth looking into. Let's, uh, let's see what we find. Alright, we've uh, subscribed to the map. And so we're going to go into the game and uh, see what happens when we try to load it. going to select customize Yes, I have way too many maps. Our map to get trashed by uh, meteors as soon as we load it, so we're gonna make it safe and just turn everything off basically. I use these two mods on all of my maps, so you just very, very useful. Just, I don't know how the game I was made without them. That's just a convenience setting there. Very important setting for examining the structure of a ship, and I, I mean, it's very, very useful. One, this thruster damage, that's important. This ship was made long before thruster damage. So literally, it stacks thrusters front to back. And you were allowed to do that back then, and it was actually useful to do that back then. But right now, if you try to move this ship, it will blow up. And this is true of just about every ship you'll come across from uh, the beginning... Uh, from a... Uh, the beginning of the game through maybe the middle of 2014. All of them have this issue, unless the description uh, says whether it's been a uh, resolved or unresolved, depending on the map you're lo looking at. So if you're gonna, if we want to restore this ship, we're gonna have to fix the thruster issues. But uh, I won't get into that in this uh, a video. Ah, the red box of fail. Yeah, I sneer at you, red box. I sneer. Mm. 
Now I'm in a, in a command where basically a DOS window. What I'm going to do is run a uh, script that I wrote myself. And the first thing it does is it removes all ladder blocks. Very important. That's critical. And then it'll also go through and remove a bunch of XML detritus and a bunch of other things uh, that uh, don't unhelp. I mean, I'll, I, I can uh, try to get you a copy of the script, but then again, I'm the only guy who's been able to use this uh, correctly. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, and uh, run this. I mean, I'm going to let's look at what's in this directory, and then I'll run the script. Well, I, I guess I looked at it earlier. All right, so we have a bunch of legacy voxel files, and a uh, the uh, the SBC file, that's the uh, settings file, and the SBS, which has the all the data for all the blocks in the uh, map. Now, the uh, format for asteroids has changed. In the uh, SBS file, it used, the old format was, okay, here's the file that has the um, asteroid in it. And then, but the new format is, Here's the database key which loads the asteroid from the database. Now the difference is subtle, but the what you have to do is look for the file name, like file name something dot vox. Take off the dot vox, so it's file name. It will just be the first part of the file name, and then the uh, record is now storage name. Now my script will make this change automatically, and. Uh, depending on what the uh, version of the game is doing, it will bring those uh, the asteroids back. So we will have asteroids. Now I'm going to... Uh, the file is 17 megabytes, and I'm going to run my uh, script on it now. The, the other thing the script does, it also welds all blocks. So everything will be in absolutely pristine condition which is what i want when i'm going to when i'm going to uh, restore a ship i want everything uh, starting off as pristine as i can get it and then so i don't have to spend all this time welding and a uh, uh, 100 blocks on a ship or and uh, whatever the damage is so everything will be good to restore the uh, new file so th we saved ourselves about 50 kilobytes off the file the uh, I'm going to now copy the new uh, n the newly edited file onto the old one and see what happens Now when you're done with, uh, when you're you have a command prompt in your directory, you always have to CD out of it. So if you decide to delete the world later, it doesn't have a, a sharing conflict and you don't get an error message when you try to delete the world. All right, let's let's uh, let's test what I just uh, edited there. Ah, you're going to get ornery with me then. I know how to deal with that. I can... You want to mess with me, game? I'll mess with you. All right, now I have this Explorer window open on my uh, app data roaming Space Engineers saves. And I'll just go into the save and open a, a Notepad++ on it. Now, I, I, if I've done the diagnosis diagnosis on it all maps basically have the same issues and you don't really have to look at every specific map i just i know what's wrong with it what's wrong with it is that the game does not support the old inventory item format so therefore we must remove all inventory item records 
from this uh, XML file. And XML files are basically a database. And so basically Space Engineers is a big colorful database editor. And you could say that on, uh, for Skyrim or just about any other uh, game like this where and you have a, a lot of player actions and then it's just a database. You're, you're, you're editing a database. All right, we're going to count the inventory items and see how much work we have ahead of us. All right, uh, 40 matches means that there's an open and close tag for 20 records. So we're going to have to remove 20 records from this file. And the file I'd chosen earlier had about 130 records, and that was taking a lot uh, longer than I wanted. Looks like uh, an old form of uranium is in this reactor. So, so what we're doing is we're just taking the uh, inventory item records out of the items and the open and close tag, we don't care about that. Usually there's an abbreviated form, but it doesn't matter. We don't care. We just got to get rid of these inventory items. The uh, character inventory usually has four items, the four basic tools in the character inventory. You have to get rid of those two. And that does it for the file, no more records. Alright, now it's working. It'll load. Unless I screwed up something while I was uh, jumping between the microphone and the uh, editor, it'll work. Yeah, this is the original Easy Start 1 base. We got a Mark 1 red ship over there. That's Big Red 1. I think we got a blue ship up there. Again, it's a Big Blue 2. And we got our star attraction right here. Let's take a look. All right, we're actually coming on stern on, and that's actually the stern of the ship. The, uh, the bow is pointing this way. It's got a a fly, th uh, let's see, yeah, a pretty nice hangar there. Got these little uh, side hangers up here. Got a little security on that thing up there. It's kind of nice. Alright, now, one of the things you'll find on this, on, the, on these old maps, is there used to be ladder parts here. We had to delete the ladder. My script had to delete the ladders, otherwise it, it failed really quickly. So, and if we're going to restore this ship, we'll just have to uh, put vertical passages or whatever part you want to use to replace these ladders, and then then you won't have this gap here, and then you'll just have uh, standard uh, 
drop downs and then you got sort of this crow's nest bridge up here with uh, with I guess what would be uh, panoramic views of uh, again this this ship predates glass glass did not exist in the game when this ship was uh, designed so if you're uh, dealing with ships of this vintage and it's just another thing that you have to go through now before I cut the video here I'm gonna, let's take a look at the uh, thrusters on Spectator mode. Spectator mode doesn't work quite right on this version. Yeah, these old designs also had, had tons and tons of reactors. So this thing has reactors up the wazoo. But, uh, no, yeah, mostly it's, uh, it's just thruster damage, so, again, if you're going to restore this thing, that's another thing you have to look at. You have to clean all that off and make sure the ship is maneuverable and with what uh, thrusters you have left, and then tune the weight and the weight distribution, so, yeah, I see it's a weak seam. It's, like, like right up at the corner there, and it, that's weak seam. It's not good design. Yeah, uh, there's no such thing as conveyors. Like in the old designs, what you'll find is just a conveyor blocks lying around randomly in, in no order because it just had no function and very early in the game. And uh, they're the only there's only one conveyor block, the uh, the conveyor junction, as it's called these days, and uh, everything else. Yeah, and the the ship was designed for ramming, so it's got a very very thick armor. It's got like like a bunch of dead armor up here, and I'm pretty sure that was intended as a, to support ramming. And, and a pretty rude ship. I mean, I, what I hate is the people you ramming people with ships that uh, are not designed to ram. Well, you're destroying your own ship. So why the hell are you suicide attacking me? It's it's it's, it's like, gah. But anyway, and uh, that's pretty much all there is to see. As you can see, we've. we've we can now work on this ship. It's a fully live map, and uh, and it not a, a terribly great ship. I think there's a couple that are uh, no, updates of this. I think the Dark Star Cruiser is uh, an update of this basic plan, and it's and I'm actually working on that one. This one's this one's a little bit too primitive to work on. There are some that are that are un ex unbelievably primitive, but this is. This is kind of in the middle, and uh, it's just not quite good enough to work on. Anyway. Well, uh, thank you for watching my video, and uh, I hope I didn't waste too much of your time. Yeah, the last thing is, uh, when you're working on these maps, you have to save the data in the new format and let's take one last look at the uh, directory see uh, now all the files have been updated to uh, an uh, vx2 uh, asteroids and the main file went from like 17 megabytes down to just over 5 megabytes so the new formats all a great deal more efficient faster better and, and the game handles it. It's very, very good support for the old format. So, and, uh, there you go.